Okay, this one you're going to have to use your laws of exponents to solve this one. We still want to separate. We want to get the y's. We want to get the y's, the dy's on the one side, and the x's, dx's on the other side. All right, so remember with laws of exponents, so you have x squared times x cubed. That becomes x to the 2 plus 3. So all we did is if you start with an x to the 2 plus 3, you can actually go backwards and rewrite it like that. Now if you have, say, x to the 7th, divide x to the 4th, that becomes x to the 7th, subtract 4. So if you have, in, in the exponential part, a subtract sign, you can rewrite it as, whoops, as a division between exponents with the same ba base. And that's what we have here. So you actually could rewrite that as dy dx is equal to 2 times e to the x divide e to the y. So what we did there, x, x to the 7 divide x to the 4 equals x to the 7 subtract 4. So if you have an x to the 7 subtract 4, you can go backwards and write it as 7x to the 7th divide x to the 4th. And that's all we did here. e to the x divide e to the y. And now, essentially it looks like cross multiplying, but that's not really what's happening. You're multiplying e to the y. That's what cancels there. And then you're multiplying e to the y there. And then you're going to multiply dx to both sides. All right, so now we have e to the y dy, so I'll put that in parentheses, equals 2 e to the x dx. Let me erase all this stuff. Well, now we can integrate. Well, on the left side, the integral of e to the y is e to the y plus c, but we're on the left side, we're not going uh, to put the c, we, we're going to end up getting the y by itself. Ooh, the y is an exponent. We're going to end up needing logs now. So now, if we bring that 2 on the outside of here, that becomes 2, the integral of e to the x, dx. Well, the integral of e to the x is just e to the x. So e to the x, and now we can put plus capital C. Well, to get the the y out of the exponent, which is what we need, we're going to have to take the natural log of both sides. That whole thing right there. Well now, because using the laws of logarithms, the y will come down in front and you'll have y times the natural log of e. Well, the natural log of e cancels. And then over here we still have uh, ln 2 times e to the x plus uppercase c, and that's what your final answer is. Just like that. And you had to use both the properties of logarithms and laws of exponents.